Welcome back to episode 314 of the Death Walkthrough. Um, today we are heading to the Night Forest. If I turn on dialogue... This place, wizard? Night Forest? The name elicits no connections, but the ominous darkness that envelops the trees ahead is probably a good place to start looking. We must simply... Help! Oh, goodly traveller, assist me in my peril. These bizarre monsters intend to make me a meal. We must simply help the stranger, yes? That would be the good thing. It sure would. Um, but I will do that off camera because we've defeated Killipedes quite a few times. So I'll be back in a sec. Oh, my greatest appreciation for your felicitous rescue. I'm still doomed, of course, but not quite so immediately. Oh, my, yes, I am quite doomed. Exiled, you see, from my village. Left to the mercies of the wildlands. Hopefully, others will learn from my folly. It is like they dropped you down a hole and forgot you. He seems to have come from the night forest. Shall we argue on his behalf while we are there? Oh, most gracious of you, my humanoid acquaintance. My village is indeed through the night forest there. Mind the zombies and the beast. Find the elder, a lemur named Lucian. It is he who must decide my fate. I, meanwhile, will seek the company of less disagreeable creatures. The name of this place is certainly apt. We must find the lemur in charge and inquire about the crane, as well as the local monitoring station. No doubt it, too, is the local mana source. Despair! Despair! But I feel the gaze of the old judge! Even now! And it burns! It burns! I don't think my gaze burns, does it? Who are you, stranger? Who speaks to the air as though it were an old friend? What dire omens do you bring upon us? You seek the source of our manor? Ha! We have not a wish to spare in these dark times. Look about! We prepare even now for the nightly assault of the Mulligast. Tis the monster that death rejected. The old judge's disappointment made manifest. Our punishment for straying from his path. We will speak of nothing and no one else until we are... Prepare it. Consult with Goody Mary Crane if you wish to aid our efforts. Have you come to our aid? Blessings, then, for we have a most dire case of monster attacking village. Elder Lucian says the Mulligast is because the old judge, well, judged us and found us wanting. It won't leave until we atone. Curious. What reason would the old one have for such an experiment? Thus, with the greatest of haste, we must board up the windows, patch the town wall, and gather horns from the white rhinos to fashion into weapons. Right, welcome to uh, the Night Forest. Let us board up the windows. Seems they're about to be under attack, which is a great way to start uh, an area, you know, just already under attack, under threat by every single thing that wants to destroy you. Sounds great. Um, but yeah. Thank you, stranger. We need all the help we can get against the Mulligast. At least until we atone. And the old judge returns to slay the beast. What precisely is a Mulligast? There's no record in the old one's memories. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. Right, let's fix the wall. Grizzleheim 2.0. Fixing walls. Building stuff for a camp. Makes sense. Uh, again, fix the wall. And again, we fix the wall. Where, where is this wall? It's over here. Look how look how ruined it is. Of course it's getting in when you have bad walls. Mighty fine work, but I doubt it will save us. The Malagast has always been a danger, but lately it is as a demon unleashed, and nothing can stop it. Could this Malagast problem have been exacerbated by the mana infusions? Like the volcano in Ursai? If so, Hierarch Lucian may have misread its meaning, as Juju and the bears did. 
At any rate, shall we find these white rhinos? Yes, let us defeat some rhinos again, because this game just loves us defeating rhinos. Very sad. These guys are deaf, and we are going to put in prisms, because I'm not going to be here all day. Uh, there's mass prism. Lovely. Let's do this. Let's destroy some rhinos again. A rhino, like, 3.0, 5.0, 6.0, 7.0. I don't know. No, at this point, I give up counting rhinos because we've fought so many of them. These guys are rank 18. They're deaf. They suck. Um, they have spells, probably like death spells, most likely, um, such as this. This is a death spell that they cast. I didn't actually see the health before I started stating this, so whoops. Should have probably take note of that. Oh, they have Dark Pact. Interesting. Watch them bring out Juju. Just, just for fun. Just for fun. They're like, huh, a juju? Maybe? Um, 3,768. No. 4,225 health. I can read. I can read. I know what I'm reading for sure. Definitely. Um, it's how much they have. They probably have about uh, 50 to 60% resisted death, probably. And they'll have a boost to life. So, yeah. Just, just generally just normal mob sort of things. It'll be terribly great until they die. I mean, it will be terribly terrible until they die. Um, two blades, we're just going to hit without a prism because whatever. Whatever, why are we not getting prisms? I do not know. But I do not have all day. So we hit anyway. Crit, two blades, should kill. Should kill, theoretically. Theoretically. Doesn't kill. Very upsetting, unfortunate. Sadness everywhere. Um... Oh, I killed one of them, just not the other. But that's fine. That's fine. He's going to kill himself. Okay. Oh, no, he's not going to kill himself. It's a poison. Just kidding. I thought he was <laughs> zero. Loser, you even crit on me, and it still did zero. Come on. If you're going to do a spell, at least do it. One that damages me. Jeez. This one. Yeah, that actually hurt. But, like, the first hit, you know, that's just, that's just embarrassing, honestly. That's embarrassing, buddy. That's super embarrassing. Like, jeez, talk about bad. Am I right? Right, crit, and he is dead. Hopefully, most likely, kablam. 1,351, he is dead, dead. Lovely. Right, how many more do I need? I need th two more, oh my gosh. Right, I'll be back in a little bit because this might take forever. Mary Crane will want these. Zombie rhino horns. My, the line between life, death, and undeath seems nebulous. How do you keep existence straight? Who knows? Great question. Anyway, that wasn't too bad. We managed to um, do it pretty quickly. Just one more fight after the one that you saw. You are most gracious, stranger. We are now as ready for the Mulligast as ever. It comes every night, you see. It hunts us like frightened rabbits. But what are we to do? They say the beast is immortal, so we cower in our homes or flee to the wildlands. Yes, like that one poor fellow we met before. We haven't had the chance to ask about him yet. You've met benighted Ichabod, have you? Save your pity. He was a criminal and had to be exiled. We can only protect so many with mana so low. The mana is low? That is unusual and at odds with the increased Mologast activity. The answer must be in the monitoring station. If you want to reach the source of the Night Forest's manor, only Lucian has the key. Maybe he will help you now that our defenses are ready. No! You may not see the mana source gifted us by the old judge. The reason it withholds its bounty is all too clear. Judgment! Judgment! For our wicked ways, we have fallen short of his ideal. So he averts his gaze from us and sends his vile abomination to terrorize us. Only through purity can we atone. Only through the removal of the criminal and the denial of a new can we appease him. Ask him if we could not simply find and destroy this Mologast in exchange for entry to the mana source. How difficult could one monster be? The Mulligast cannot die. 
It raises the dead to serve it, and screams the scream that freezes stars. Tis not a subtle thing, easy to find, if you wish. The Molagos makes its wretched nest in a clearing beyond the village. Seek it if you dare, but we will not mourn you. Right, let us go and search for the Mulligast. Um, We did level up there, which is pretty cool. We're now level 143. Very, very, very cool. Uh, we now have a little bit more health as well, which is nice. Slightly over eight, uh, 7,800. I was about to say 8,800, but nope, not quite there. Not quite. Oh, hello, people. There's people here. What? There's so many people here. Let's defeat the Mulligast. This guy is a cheetah, cheetah, lemon eater. Avast! Monster! Your reign of terror uh, ends here. Oh, fie. Never have I actually seen a star turn cold and fade away before. Goop. I believe yet another crane requires your aid. Okay, let's defeat the Malagast. Um, So as I said, this guy is a cheater. He um, will save Raw at the first round, and then he will give every wizard three Malagast faint, which we'll see next round, so I'll explain them then. Um, and if a faint is cast, not this one, I assume, but another one, um, he will cast a version of Cleanse Ward on himself twice, making Indemnity ineffective. So, yeah, he's got 120 outgoing boost, which is not great. He knows shields and stuff. Um, he has 12,145 health. Um, he doesn't apparently have a boost or resist, which is interesting. Um, slightly strange because he is shadow. He does a lot of ice spells. Um, so I was thinking maybe he's going to resist, um, death, but doesn't appear to be. So yeah, Malagas Faint is a four pip shadow spell. Um, it doesn't use four shadow pips, luckily, or any. Um, but it does 70% to the next outgoing of us, and also 70% on us as well. So, yeah, slightly risky, but we're gonna do it, because why not? And he has a minion, and the minion is a Lima Thrall, who is rank 8, a Storm, 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 and they know Storm spells, they can do Storm Lord, which is slightly worrying, and also Thermic Golem, so if you're Ice and Fire, be careful. Um, and yeah, they have 3,535 health. So yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I think we also have Solomon Crane buff here today as well, I believe. Um, oh yeah, we're out of pips. That's right, because it's four pips. <laughs> we can't discard them either, so yep, that's a yikes. That's a yikes. Um, we're just going to pass. We're going to have to cast one of them again, which is not great. Not great. We are stunned. Very cool. Very epic. This fight could go badly. I'm just going to put it out there. There, There is a chance that this goes terribly. Um, I am kind of thinking about just hitting with the ship of fools. But also, we don't have an enchanted ship of fools at the moment, I don't think. So, we're going to have to uh, faint, which is not cool. I just really cannot cycle anything at the moment. Oh my gosh, the chain's done. Storm Lord, no. Frost Giant into the Storm Lord. Oh my. They're just stunning me like crazy. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Um, not great. Not great at all. Yeah, okay. We're going to discard the prism. Uh, not the prism, the sharpen. Not the greatest thing, but oh well, it's fine. It's the fine. What is this? I don't even know what that it was, but that's fine. We can do this. Just kind of nice. I could get a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. He does have a shield though. Minus 35. I might actually Malagas faint him. Maybe. Destroy myself in the process. But he only has two pips. So he could climb her. He could climb her actually. That could be bad. But we go second anyway. So. Oh well. YOLO. YOLO. We see what happens. Climb her right now. I dare you. I told you. Told you. So predictable. Bosses these days. So predictable. So predictable. You ask them to climb it, and they will. They will do it. They'll be like, yes, okay, I will do that. You know what? That sounds like a great idea, Brent. It does not much damage, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, they're like, yes, great idea. So smart. You you must be professional wizard. Um, and luckily, I'm not too worried, because what three pip spells do they know? I don't know. Probably not many. Um, we are going to brace now, 
Good idea. Very good idea. Love to see it. Love to see it. I was going to blade, but brace is a little bit better because that's a little bit more protect, especially since we've got a plus 70 on us at the moment. So, yeah, brace is always, always cool. We've got another one as well, but we don't need it. We're going to discard it for now because we do want to keep cycling our cards. We don't have another faint after that, so that is fine. But cycling is good. This is another climber. This one's going to hurt. This one gonna hurt a little bit, not gonna lie. Just because of the 70 and the 30 blade. Not great. This could do a lot of damage. Uh, yup. Just a little bit of damage there. Don't do anything scary. Please no scare me. Okie dokie. Stun me. That's fine. Stun me. You, you do that. You, you do that, dude. You do that. You do that. I think I also, like, passed when I didn't have to as well because i thought we were going first which i don't know why i thought i was going first because i never go first i always go second thus meaning i always lose um but that's fine that's fine oh we have grim we can scarecrow next so that's good we'll, we'll go for a scarecrow next it will get out the minion for sure hopefully they don't kill me with another stupid freaking climber a climber will kill me at this point um which is not great so this is a crit blade by the way um very cool very interesting 14 crit because apparently storm didn't have enough so you know if storm doesn't have enough crit you know that's bad please don't climber thank you i mean he didn't hit either that's okay we're gonna get most of our health back which is great that's a what donate pip gain three pips okay storm and storm and power okay interesting interesting didn't know he had that uh, um okay crit blade and two faints minus 35 yeah whatever it's not really to kill the boss i don't really care about the boss dying but the minion dying is good very good the boss we can deal with we have a shed now so we can just blade up for a um a big boy blade up for a big boy um grim reader i think is honestly the best bet here uh we're gonna have to just blade by ourselves without a enchant for it because we had to discard the sharpen unfortunately um but yeah Ooh, we do we do blade we do blade i'm not worried about dying now we do enchant that we already have this blade we do it again just in case we have to follow up with a hit of some form uh and we might mm, that's annoying that's annoying that's really annoying we do have a reshuffle if we need to i'm not actually worried about dying at this point um was thinking of hitting but i'm just gonna hit when he doesn't have a brace up and if he has a shield he has a shield it's only 35 he only knows legion shields so as long as he doesn't steal mine which he can't because i don't have any shields <laughs> he can't steal mine because i don't have any um we should be fine this is gonna hurt this is gonna hurt this does also stun me which is great oh we have a stun shield don't worry this is fine we have a stun shield. I forgot. I forgot. We've been stunned so many times that I don't even remember if we have a stun shield or not. That hurt. Yep. I thought that would hurt. I thought that would hurt. Here is blade. No, that is faint. Sorry. <laughs> that is faint. We have two shads, which is nice. Um, we just gonna pass a couple rounds. A couple rounds. Please stop racing. Oh my gosh, this guy's brace is insane. It's also six round brace as well, which is crazy. We're just going to go for a Grim Reader into Ship of Fools, I think. Because at this rate, we're going to have to heal. Um, but I want to get a Grim Reader first. Want to get a Grim Reader first. Plus, it also gives a weakness. Two weaknesses by the looks of it. So, that's cool. If it doesn't kill, which is good because we do have a plus 70 on us right now. Um, <laughs> which I completely forgot about. We've just been rocking 3,000 health with a plus 70. Yikes. Um, yeah, not the greatest, but that's fine. Again, we, we, we just take our hits when we can, and we'll hit with Ship of Fools, not next, but the round after. That did a decent amount. Not going to lie, that was good. That was good, and he's got two weaknesses now. What are they? Are they, like, minus 25? Minus 25. Not too bad. That's, like, a, just a regular weakness. Love to see it love to see it 
Um, okay, we're stunned. That's fine. Not the greatest, but it's okay. Could have been worse. Could have been a climber. That would have killed me. This probably won't kill me. It's what he does next that I am worried about, though. Yeah, that doesn't kill me, which is good. Luckily, he still has a weakness on him. Um, definitely need to heal. Or hit, I should say. Just as well I put that blade on earlier, eh? Um, we can hit now. We can hit now. We hit now. He's got a, another shield. This guy just loves his shields, like, seriously. All he does is shield, I swear. All he does is shield, climber. <laughs> shield and stun. All he knows. Shield, stun, brace. All, all he does. The only thing he does. I mean, theoretically, braces a shield of some form, but you, you, you understand what I mean. You understand. Kablam. That did not kill. So close, though. So close. But we do get some health, which is good. Slightly a little bit more better. Ruh. Um, 7,000... 7, 700. We can do that easily. Even with a shield, we should be fine. Um, blade. That's okay. He's still got a weakness as well, by the way. So, we good. We're perfectly fine. Um, yeah. GG. GG. I was actually slightly worried going into this fight. Um... This is not a GG. This is very sad because this is the old abominable. It does a minus 75, so this is not GG. Um, of course he would do this. Of course he would do this. Of course we could actually die. Hopefully we don't, but we could. <laughs> Please don't kill me. I was just saying how easy you were, and now you pose an actual threat to me. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, his brace is gone, though. Ooh, this is going to come down to the wire. We need to do, like, 700. If we do 800 or more, I know we kill. Please, can this do 800? Please. We crit? 59. Ooh, I don't know. That's a lot of resist. That's a lot of shielding. We did. We killed. Oh my gosh. That's so good. So good. As I was saying, I was slightly worried about that fight. Um, <laughs> he's an angry boy. And there expires another star. Quickly, friend. We must pursue that creature before it escapes. Um, as I was saying, I, I was slightly worried going into that from Test Realm because me and my friend, when we did it on Test Realm on our Fire Wizards, it was not good. It was painful. It was pain. Um, Hi! The fiend eludes us! But yeah, we managed to do it, so that's good. Who am I? Why, dear friend, I am he who should be asking thee who thou art indeed, for I am a hero in this land. A fighter for justice amidst the unjust, for the primal, inexorable causes which glue all societies together, or at least that is my intent. It is admittedly taking me some time to grasp the fundamentals of my calling. Oh, but what a cad I am. Call me. Solomon Crane. Now let us make haste to the village and warn them to return to their homes, for the Malagast is on the hunt. Right. Let us go and warn them. The Malagast is hunting. It is hunting season. Hunting season. But yeah, I'm actually quite surprised at how nicely that went. Just a little bit worried, not gonna lie. A little bit worried. Why is there so many people here Well, today? no! Now, look who it is. Solomon Crane, the great monster hunter. Slay any monsters, have you? Well, not as such, but... He should be so lucky. Man fizzles more than fresh seltzer. Come on, let us secure our homes. We all know Solomon Crane won't do it for us. What hope is there for us with such miserable saviors? We'll all be gristle in the Mulligast's teeth for Solomon Crane saves us. Men are a little bit, you know, a little bit mean to him, not gonna lie. They are not inaccurate in their assessments. My magic is flimsy and unreliable. My swordplay is more play than sword. I can feel the drive within me, the compulsion to protect, to avenge, to fight. I simply... Cannot muster the power. It is interesting how this place hasn't benefited from the same mana influx as everywhere else. The monitoring station must hold the answer. You seek the mana font of the old judge, wizard? 
Lucian will never grant us entry. It is against one of his interminable rules. But the power within would aid us. The font is contained in a courtyard, the key to which is doubtless in Lucian's house. We'll never slip in while he stands out front, but there is damage round the side. Perhaps your small pet could enter surreptitiously. This guy's just having a conversation over here. Kind of cute. Um, but why are they in my realm? Get out of my realm! I don't like you interfering. Um, yeah. Right, let us use pet mode to sneak into Lucian's house, which I know is just over here. Because I've already done this before, but we'll pretend that I, I'm just so smart and incredible. I knew it was his house just by looking at it. Because that's definitely what happened. Um, right. Key. We got key. Potting. Potting. Painting. Painting. Um, so, fun fact, you can go out this door. Or you can actually go out the front door. So we're going to go out the front door. Because um, apparently you can. Even though Quest Arrow doesn't point the front door, you can go out the front door. Very cool. Splendid work. The courtyard gate is north of the village, just beyond the ruins of the old town. I will meet with you there. Turn not, for the Malagast may strike at any moment. Right. Let us head to the courtyard and find out what is happening inside and what is up with the font of mana. Hello. We back. Caution now, friend. The night forest is dark and full of terrors. We know not what menace awaits us beyond this threshold. Okie dokie. I know exactly what looks beyond. Horrors, obviously. Fie! <laughs> Tis swamplings! Plants have spirits too, wizard. And when they die with work undone, as is common for immobile creatures, the spirits remain. Those spirits possess other plants and roam the forests. Behold, wizard! Plant on life! Plant on life. Interesting. So as you see, we're getting a lot of death stuff over here. This is kind of like the death area. <laughs> Um, which is great. I don't mind that, per se. Um, just slightly frustrating, but that's fine. Uh, so yeah, Swamplings, level 18, rank 18, I should say. I always say level. I don't know what it is about me that says that. It just always says that. Weird. Um, but yeah, they don't have too much health. I assume resist rules are normal. Um, they weren't too bad on my Fire Wizard when I did this, so I don't expect them to be terribly good. They do no Balance Blade. Uh, is that Balance Blade? I can't remember what that one's called, but the ba Blade Storm. That's, I am just so bad at this game today. I'm really bad. Maybe it's because I've been sick for the last three days. I don't know. I don't know, but whatever happened, like, I just forgotten every single spell name. It is crazy. Absolutely ridiculous. I haven't played the game in, like, three days. No, just kidding. I actually played the game more while I was sick than I normally do, um, which is a little bit weird. A little bit strange, because I don't usually just, like, sit down and play play whiz i don't do that anymore because i just spend too much time like streaming and recording whiz that i just don't sit down and play it is just just for fun but i actually have i've been working on a new character um and it's actually actually fun i'm in celestia very cool very epic level 47 still don't have the level 48 spell but halfway through celestia so yep it is painful 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 um but yeah it's not too bad it's not too bad it's not too bad. I have to say that Celestia feels a lot nicer now. Um, with a little bit of the health nerfs and stuff. I haven't played it since then. Um, and it feels a lot nicer now, in my opinion. I didn't kill! What do you mean? What do you mean? This is so sad. How dare you live? I want you unlived. Oh my gosh. Unlive, please. Please unlive again. Since you're just spirits. Unlive again. I will unlive you so hard. I will unlive you so hard. Get destroyed. Absolutely. Cannon to death. To unlift. I don't know. Um, right, he's dead now. Completely dead. Completely dead dead. So dead that he, he is in ground dead. That has how dead. May the spirits of these flowers and weeds at last find their rest. You are quite the warrior, friend. Would that my spells were as potent as yours. Come. The font we seek is hither. Aha. 
Fie! In all my days I've not seen such plenty. Yet Lucian tells us the font runs dry, that our impurity made it thus. Then either Lucian hasn't been here in some time, or he tells not facts. Regardless, speak aloud the words, wizard. In existence, meaning. In knowledge, wisdom. In design, purpose. My word, do you mean to enter this den? Very well, I will muster what courage I can and accompany you. I mean, you don't have to, buddy, but you are a death wizard, so I respect that. I respect that. You're a hero that is death, so I, as a death wizard, respect that. Obviously. What benighted sorcery hath we unearthed here? Is this the pit that spawned the Malagast? No, I don't think so. But maybe its creator can still explain what is happening here. Wizard, would you? We're getting so much lore today. This is like huge lore. Huge lore time. Well done, my champion. My hero. My, dare I say it, my Sion. The old judge! But he is immaterial. Dead. Lemuria's purpose, as I've told you, is to restore the first world. But according to druidic legend, a being known as the Scion of Bartleby is required. Said being is foretold to unify light and shadow, to be the glue that binds a fragmenting world. I can't guess who that would be, so I made one. Rather, I created in this world the ability to fabricate heroes based on the template of a man named Stallion Quartermain. Statistically, one of the resultant adventurers would advance beyond their peers, find my true secrets, and become my scion. Now, take your reward. Okie dokie, let's get stone. The old judge made this place? Created the fabric of heroes? But what of the Malagast and the mana depletion over the years? I see. A machine, a contrivance running beyond its useful life was the cause of our woes. We are not failures. We are not being punished. I feel invigorated in this knowledge. A righteous strength flows through me now. Not to mention all the mana he passed through outside. If the old judge did not take the mana, then he likely did not send the Malagast. Tis but a beast. Powerful, yes, but simply an animal. We must inform Lucian and the villagers at once. We must adjust our thinking if we are to find a way to slay it. Right, and that is where we're going to end off for today because we have run very, very long today. Uh, so yeah, next time... We will go and talk to Lucian and probably defeat the Malagast again. Maybe. Possibly. Definitely. Um, but yeah, otherwise, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Smash like, subscribe, and as always, remember to craft outside the box.